Hi, this is Jimmy from The Productive Engineer, and today I'm going to be talking to you about how to use the new clipper for RemNote. RemNote's introduced a new web clipper that allows you to capture content from the web and bring it into RemNote so you can incorporate it into your productivity workflow. Now, before we get started, if you like this video, please click the like button. It really helps out my channel. If you want to be notified when I release new videos, please click the bell. And of course, if you want to see more of my videos, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks. Okay, the first thing we need to do is install the Clipper for RemNote. Now, it's important to note that you must use Google Chrome in order to use the Clipper, as the Clipper is a Chrome extension. So you'll go to chrome.google.com slash web store in order to bring up the web store. And then you'll go to the search the store section and just type in RemNote. And you'll see RemNote Clipper. Just hit that. And you can see here the RemNote Clipper right here. So I'm going to click that. And then it's going to give you an overview and you know the latest version and all that stuff. You just click on Add to Chrome. And it's going to tell you what the permissions are that you're giving the Clipper. So you can read and change your data in RemNote. You can read your browsing history. You hit Add Extension. RemNote will come up. And it'll give you a nice little tutorial on how to use the RemNote Clipper. So that's how you install it. And once you've added the uh, Clipper, as you can see, you have the RemNote Clipper guide here. And you also will have the RemNote Clipper icon in your toolbar. If you don't have that, what you need to do is click on the little extension configuration. Come down and make sure that this pin right here where it says RemNote Clipper is hit. And if you want to unclip it, you can unclick it and you see it disappears from my top section. But I'm gonna, I want it, so I'm going to click there so I can see it. And there we go. Now let's take a look at a blog post that I potentially want to capture some data from and put it into my RemNote system. So as you can see here, Cal Newport Study Hacks blog, which I highly recommend you read. It's really awesome if you're trying to be more productive and try to learn things in particular. It has this great post on Focus and I wanted to capture some of the data from it. So what I'll do is I can come here. I can select some of the text. So let's say I want to, most people tackle their work day with what I call the list reactive mode. And then I just want to capture this whole bullet here. I can select it. I can hit that. And as you can see, I have two options here. It has my the title here and add note. So I'm going to actually add that note. And now that's added. And what I'm going to do is actually click open document after I do that. And as you can see, it will take me to my little document here. And as you can see, it, cap it creates a page in my links section for this Focus Week article. It has a link to the full article, and then it has the text that I captured here in a bullet. Now, let's say later on, I read this article again, or I want to do something and I want to capture maybe this part here second, because you have no plan beyond trying to just get things done. It's easy for your mind to keep deciding these ad hoc inter breaks. I want to capture this whole section here. I collect it, I hit run note, and I hit add note. And I added that note, but now when I click when I open the document, watch what happens. So as you can see, I have my pri it doesn't create a separate page, is the key thing I wanted to show you here. What I it already knows it has a page for this blog post for this web URL. And it has keeps that link and it knows it has that link. So because it's part of the same link, it knows it's the same page. So when I go in and add content, like if I come down here, time block, let's say I want to add this part here, like the scheduling commitment part. I want to take that. I can actually highlight it. And one of these cool things you get with the clipper is I can actually just add it because I have the note open. I can actually just click add to note. And as you can see here, now it adds that to the note. I can do the same thing down here. Highlight all this text right here, hit add note, and it just drops it in. So that's a really cool way of leveraging the, the clipper to grab content. Okay, so that's basically how you use the RevNote Web Clipper. It's good for grabbing content and bringing it in. It is a really basic clipper. It's not as full featured as the, like Evernote or even Notion, but it's just been introduced and it it is a, it does provide the ability to grab the content and put it into a page, which I like. What I don't like particularly is that I can't create, I haven't at least maybe I haven't figured it out, is how to create a page that contains that where I want to grab data from multiple websites and put it on that page. What ends up happening says it creates a page inside your links page. And every time you grab content from that page, it puts it on that particular page specifically. I don't get to choose what page I want to put it on. So 
It's a little different than what I'm used to. It's still good. It works well, but it is different. And I would reckon you can still obviously highlight things and copy and paste them manually into pages you want. But obviously the idea of a web clipper is like you want to be able to grab content and put it where you want to put it. This kind of puts it in a, it creates a, whenever you copy content from a web page, it's creating a, if the page doesn't exist, it's creating a new page for that website and then copying the paste. It's basically putting that content into that page that you select. So it's a little different approach. But it works well and it allows you to get content into Remnote so you can then use it to learn. Well, I hope this video was helpful for you. Before I do my usual spiel of like, comment, and subscribe, if you're just getting started with Remnote, I highly recommend you check out my beginner's guide to Remnote. I go through Remnote, a uh, pretty detailed format. I start from the very beginning and I teach you all the things you need to know to be productive and learn inside of Remnote. And I will link it above, so I highly recommend you watch that if you're either new to Remnote or you're just trying to brush up on your Remnote skills. If you like this video, please click the like button. It does help out my channel. It tells YouTube that this channel is worth watching. If you want to see more of my videos, I have a huge library, a growing library, I shouldn't say huge yet, but it's getting there, of uh, videos on various productivity applications and how to use them. So I check, recommend you check those out. I have play note, oh, not play notes. I have playlists for each of my applications that I cover. So definitely check those out. And lastly, if you want to be notified when I release new videos, please click the bell. Thanks.